Hey what's up guys, Mao here for Unbox Everything. And if you've been following my channel for the past few months, you know that I've been unboxing a bunch of Huawei devices. And when I post these videos, I always get comments and questions about the apps. Since they don't come with Google Play services installed in the Google Play Store, where do I get my apps? And that is where the Huawei App Gallery comes in. In this video, I'll be telling you about Huawei's official app store, the Huawei App Gallery. And so for newly released phones like these two, the Huawei Y6P, which I did a review for recently, you can check that out right after this video, and the Huawei Y5P, which I just got my hands on, and I'll be doing a review on this sometime soon, so be sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss that. But yeah, anyway, these two, you don't need to worry about where you're going to get your apps because they come with the Huawei App Gallery. And the App Gallery has been around already for quite some time and it just keeps on improving and getting better. Each day they add more apps and more developers are getting on board and it just keeps growing and growing and right now it is the third largest app store globally. So today I'm going to be telling you about some of the top apps on their app gallery and the top features of the app as well. So why don't we get started. So let's kick this off with the top apps. And before I go into that, I just want to tell you about the brand new apps that were just released as of June 2020. And that is Plants vs. Zombies, Candy Crush Mania, Food Panda, View, Kumu, TikTok, Lazada, and Viber. So those are the brand new ones. But now I want to get into the apps that are the essentials that you'd probably be looking to download right away when you get your new Huawei device. And for me, the main and first thing that I download are always my social media and entertainment apps. So right now on the Huawei App Gallery, you can easily download Facebook, TikTok, View, iFlix, Kumu, and Viber. Now you can download these super easily from the Huawei App Gallery and I'll be showing you how to do that right now with my Huawei Y5P which I'm going to be setting up for the first time right here with you. Alright, come around here. All right, so first we're gonna open up the Huawei app gallery and then we're just gonna type in what we're searching for. Let's do TikTok. All right, so the first one up there, let's click it. And then down here, it just says install. So just click that and wait for it to download. So now it is installing. And now that it's done installing, we can just click open and TikTok loads right up and i'm just going to show you that it is also right there on the home screen already so if we want we can just click that open it and we've got tiktok so that was super easy all right so that was how you get onto your huawei device but what about the social media apps that you can't find right now on the huawei app gallery yet what can you do about that? Well, you can just as easily download them from a third-party app. And so for apps like Instagram, this is what I do. So I'll show you just how easily it is to do that. Okay. So instead of clicking the app gallery, we're going to open up the Huawei app browser. And up here are the third-party app um, websites, which you can get from. And we'll just click any of those. So the first one, app taken. And then we're just going to search for the app. So we want to search for... Instagram there we go so Instagram pops up and then we just click here to download pops up we confirm the download and it appears in our notifications so now that it's downloading we wait again so now that it's finished just click it and then we're just gonna install again and just like that we can see over here that we now have Instagram so open that up and you can see it Instagram now works fine. Cool. Alright, so that's how to get Instagram and other apps on your phone through third-party method. And what about Google Apps now? People ask about that. What about YouTube, Google Drive, Google Photos? Well, the thing is that you can still access those through the Huawei browser and it will work fine on your phone. And you can even pin it to the home screen. You know what? Let me show you again. So again, we're going to open up the Huawei browser. And we're just gonna go to, let's go to YouTube. And so YouTube is loaded up just like normal. 
but what we are gonna do is we're gonna click the three dots up here and say add to home screen okay and now we've got YouTube on the home screen so when I click it it's just gonna instantly launch the YouTube page so that works really well and again you can do this for apps like Google Drive and Google Photos, you can do that as well. But when it comes to Gmail, people also ask about Gmail. Well, that one is really convenient because Huawei has their Huawei email app. And in this email app, you can add in any email that you have, whether it be Yahoo or Gmail or Hotmail, if people still use Hotmail. But yeah, if you've got Gmail account, you can just log it in in the Huawei email app and it'll work perfectly. So that was just a quick demo to show you how easy it is to get apps on the Huawei App Gallery or through third party or the Huawei App Browser if it's not yet on the App Gallery. But for the ones that are on the App Gallery right now, this is the most convenient way to get them. And like I said, they keep updating them and there are so many apps on it right now. So I'm just going to tell you the top apps that you can get right now on the Huawei App Gallery. So for those gamers out there and those who love to play games on their phone, the Huawei App Gallery has got a good selection already of games you can download right now. These games include Asphalt, Candy Crush Mania, and Plants vs. Zombies. And these are games that I personally love to play, so I'm really glad that they have them already on the Huawei App Gallery. Next up are the online shopping apps for those who love doing shopping online like myself but yeah here they are they have Shopee, Lazada, Bookie, Metro Deal and for those foodies out there Food Panda. Okay so next up are the finance apps and these are super important for the world we live in nowadays where everything has to be done online you know you can't really go to the bank and line up too long and all that stuff but we can do it online so the online banking apps such as Paymaya, Click, Gcash, BDO, BPI, Union Bank, and Metro Bank. They've also got news apps such as GMA News, among others. And finally, the last category of apps that I personally love are the photo and video editing apps. So the ones that they have right now are PixArt, Beauty Plus, Filmora Go, VLC, Viva Video, and VidMate. And I just love editing photos and videos on my phone. So if you like doing that as well, they've got it on the App Gallery. Now, if there are still apps that you want that aren't yet on the App Gallery, but you really want them to be at the convenience of getting it on the Huawei App Gallery, they've got a feature called Wish Lists. And with that, I just want to talk about some of the top features that makes the Huawei App Gallery really special. Okay, so first up is Wish Lists. This is a place where you get to request for apps to be added to the app gallery and they're going to look into it and try their very best to add that app for you. And when you do download apps, you can be sure that they are safe. And that's because they've got the four-layer detection security. This means that it checks every app for malware, for suspicious content, and security issues. And it just makes sure that every app that you download is safe for you and your phone. And another great feature that it's got is the rewards. Everyone loves rewards. And so the features that it's got are Huawei points, app vouchers, VIP privileges, and the gift center. This is where you can check back regularly for free rewards and gift packs. So that was just my quick overview of the Huawei App Gallery and I hope that I was able to answer some of your questions about the App Gallery. And I wanted to show you how I do my setup and download all my apps for my Huawei devices. Hey, if you're interested in these two devices, the Huawei Y6P and the Huawei Y5P, I'll be leaving a link in the description to more information about them. And if you want to buy them for yourself, you can visit the Lazada links in the description as well. You can get the Huawei Y6P for 5,990 pesos and the Huawei Y5P for 4,490 pesos. So really affordable. Check them out in the link below. Hey, I hope that you found this video helpful and enjoyed watching it. If you did, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet for more weekly content just like this one. I've got some great video reviews coming up. And as always, I will see you back here next time as I continue to unbox everything. Shh.